We're here in the kitchen with Christopher Geigel from the Beef Culinary Center. And Chris, for those of us who like to spice our meals up just a little bit, what suggestion have you brought us today? So I brought you a beef pozole, which is basically a Mexican-style hearty beef stew. Wow. And so how, does, how, how do we make that? So you start off, you get your stock pot here nice mm -hmm. and hot. I'm just going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to the pan. Okay. Yeah. Just two or three tablespoons there. Just enough, yeah. And then some diced uh, yellow onion. Oh, yeah. I like this. Hey, there we go. Yeah, we're talking. And then we have some jalapeno here. So if you like your, your stew a lot spicier, you can you leave bet. the seeds in. But if you don't, you can take them out and use less. So I like it pretty spicy. Got a good amount here and left yeah. all the seeds in. About how much is that, do you think? It's two or three jalapenos. Oh, yeah. Just going to stir That's that around great. here a little bit and let that cook. Mm. That's already smelling good. That's outstanding. So while that's cooking a little bit, um, the next thing we would do is add the beef back to that. Okay. So we cooked this beforehand. Um, you want to cook that separately and get a nice browning on there. So the whole recipe uses about two and a half or three pounds of chuck. So you want to do that in about one third increments of that. So you get really nice browning to develop a really nice uh, look and flavor on the beef. So that is actually chuck roast. This is chuck roast um, that we queued up. If you want to save yeah. some time, it's a little more expensive. You can buy stew meat already, sure. but you can also buy a chuck pot roast oh, and yeah. cube it yourself to save a little money. Outstanding. So I'm just going to add that to our pot now. All right. Yeah. That's great. And stir that around. So still, still turn it around. So you're you're gonna you, you tend to use this at least initially on the stove uh, as opposed to like a crock pot. Yeah, um, you can do this in a crock pot and set it up beforehand before you go okay. to work in the morning. Gotcha. This is one of those recipes that really lends itself to a longer cooking time. It's oh. gonna enhance the flavor and the tenderness of the beef. Good. Now that that's cooked a little bit, we're gonna add some hominy, oh, yeah. which is a um, very rustic uh, large grain corn. Sure. So dump that in there. Makes it super hearty. Um, some tomato, a can of uh, diced tomato. We did not drain the juice. We kind of left that in there for you. As are those spicy tomatoes or just regular diced tomatoes? Just regular diced tomatoes. Yep. Okay. Um, they have chipotle smoked and oh, sun dried yeah. and all those kind of things you can kind of add to make it your own. Yeah. And we're going to add some beef stock to that. Oh, yeah. Very simple then. Very simple. Yeah. So after we've added all those things, we're yeah. going to stir that around. Oh, yeah. And now how long will we want this to cook, Chris? A minimum of a half an hour, but okay. you know, two or three hours. Um, this is kind of one of those things you put in and crock pot, as you said, is Not ideal. Ago. Okay. And then towards uh, serving time, what do we have here? Towards serving time, we have some zucchini. Um, that's one of those things that you don't want to add at the beginning of the cooking process because they just okay. kind of turn to mush. And some cilantro, which really loses most of its flavor if you kind of let it simmer that long. Gotcha. So right before we serve it, we mix that in, let it cook a few minutes, and then um, we garnished ours here with cheese oh, and green onion. Looks absolutely delicious. And, and there you have a, a very hearty, did you call it pozole? Pozole. Pozole. Uh, what a delicious recipe, especially as we move into the winter months and uh, need something hearty and warm to, to, to warm ourselves up, up after those cold days. Absolutely. Thanks for coming today, Chris. Thanks for having me. For this and other outstanding beef recipes, visit the website beefitswhatsfordinner.com or you can always find them on our website, cattlemantocattlemen.com dot org.